Hello, I'm Sascha, you're watching Mini PC Pro TV and today I can show you the unboxing of the new LG X110 netbook. Well, LG says it's a notebook PC. Um, it's an Intel Atom netbook, it comes with of course the N270 with 1.6 GHz, 1 GB of RAM and a 160 GB hard disk. So. That's a mechanical drive, that's not a, that's not a solid state disk drive. So here we have the device. Uh, I have to say it's actually a, a pretty fancy box. And let's see what kind of accessories we are getting. Um, I bought that one over here today in Germany. They just got on sale. It's um, 379 euros. That's the version without the UMTS or the 3G module. See what do we have here? Um, that's the recovery DVD, and we have our any kind of driver and software DVD, and a little installation, quick installation guide, uh, warranty, and another warranty. There is the PSU, pretty small. You can compare it to the one of the MSI Wind power cord and over here we have finally our battery pack so let's take a look at this one it should be a three cell and it is um, there you go I'm not sure if you can see that one on the video um, that's an 11.1 volt uh, 2200 milliampere three cell battery that should be good for let's say some three hours, three hours, th uh, 30 minutes max on the LG X100. Let's see what else is in here. Gravitation takes toll. Let's get rid of the box. Um, I have no clue what that is. Any kind of stickers whatsoever. Let's see. Oh, that little baby looks like. Okay, I got the black version. As you can see right now from the black lid, um, of course a glossy lid again, so you might see some fingerprint. Let's take a quick look around the LG. So we have our multi-card reader over here. That's a USB 2.0 connector. We have the microphone in and the audio out. A VGA connector, Ethernet connector. No connectors at all, of course, except of the one for the battery on the back. So a Kensington key lock, the connector for your power cable, uh, for your PCU, and over here another two USB 2.0 connectors. So let's take a look at the device. There we go. Looks pretty fancy, doesn't it? Um, you know, those guys that are following the netbook news for quite a while, might immediately notice um, that this little LG looks a little bit like the MSI Wind. It is pretty much the MSI Wind. We have the same um, touchpad or trackpad, same mouse buttons, keyboard is absolutely the same, the power button is arranged in the same position and uh, also it comes with a 1.3 um, megapixel webcam over here you can also see there is the microphone yeah so I just got the battery pack in there and as you can see even the bottom of the battery pack is glossy I already placed all my fingerprints over here on the lid well let's make a little boot up test so in general due to our experience with other um, Intel Atom netbooks with hard disk drive and Windows XP this one should boot up let's say maybe in some 50 seconds or 55 seconds I have to tell you that this is the second boot up the first boot up really installed a hell lot of updates or did some setups or configuration file copying and um, it really took a while, some 10 minutes something that I haven't seen before 
And as you can see, or as you might see over here in the taskbar, um, LG pre-installed quite some applications. I'm not sure if this is the way to go on a netbook with just a three, uh, three cell battery and because uh, it takes some CPU load again and it draws some power from the battery and that's not good for your overall performance or let's say for your battery power at all. Okay, let's get that one down again. So it was roughly around some, I don't know, 40 seconds. It seems to be pretty quick. I have to tell you that I can definitely hear the hard disk drive. That is something that uh, didn't happen with the MSI Wind. So you can really hear the hard disk. Maybe something that LG should consider for some future versions. Well, in general, it is, a, of course, an MSI Wind clone. It looks pretty cool. I really like it. Uh, 379 over here in Europe right now in Germany. Uh, should be 499 in the US. Of course, I'm doing some more uh, detailed reviews in the next couple of days. And I'm going to upload another video with some benchmarking. And uh, let's see how the battery eater is getting around with that system and how long you can run on the battery.